also really loving this book. They were 11 when they sent a killer to prison. They were heroes, but they were liars. I just, y'all, I just finished Babel. Reading this part of the book, it's making my skin crawl and it's bad because I want an iPad. Everyone and their mother has an iPad and I want to be part of the gang. I have FOMO like this. I don't want to see a romance in a thriller. I'm reading a thriller to be thrilled, to be on the edge of my seat. I'm reading it for all of the stuff you don't get in any other genre. Hello book friends. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylin and I hope you guys are doing so, so lovely. Welcome to another weekly reading vlog. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. It is currently Monday. Not sure of the date. It's like January 24th, I think. Um, but I am here to welcome you to the vlog, obviously. I'm also here to talk about the potential books I'm going to be reading this week and kind of what's going on this week. So let's start with books. Currently, I am reading a Babel. I am about... I think like 100 pages from the end which is great kind of curious to see how this book ends but i am also really loving this book um i don't think you can see it but i have tabbed this book i've been listening to this on audio and following along but also i've been listening to it while i puzzle while i play my switch it's just been a really great reading experience with this book i do think if i were to read this without the audio i think think I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much as I am because there are some parts that kind of to me drag a little just because of what it's about um it's a I think it's a historical fantasy um I'm not one for historical anything except for Bridgerton so for me there are certain parts where it drags but even then it's not really dragging because of the audiobook and there yeah I just think the audiobook is a better reading experience when it comes to this book. So if you are wanting to read Babel and you have Scribd or have the chance to get Scribd, get Scribd because it is on Scribd, the audiobook. So that's what I recommend. But yes, I'm definitely thinking of finishing this either tonight or tomorrow. I have some computer work to do for YouTube, so I'm going to listen to it while I do that. And also, if you can hear a plane taking off, it's my computer exporting last week's vlog for you guys which is this week's vlog for me so yes but that's that and then i kind of wanted to mood read for this week and what i'm feeling is thriller i want a thriller but i also want to throw in a contemporary so the two thriller options i have are the prisoner by ba paris I have read one other book from this author and it is Behind Closed Doors and that one I really liked. I listened to it on audio. I remember it. I was driving down to South Carolina with my mom. We picked an audiobook to listen to and we just got instantly sucked in and wanted to keep driving. We actually finished it by the time we got to South Carolina. It was about, I think it was like a nine hour, nine or ten hour audiobook. So perfect timing. We actually pulled up to the driveway and we finished and it was like perfect. But that book was really good. It was very twisty and I really liked it. So I'm really excited. I've heard, is it The Therapist this book has? I heard that one didn't get great reviews. So I'm kind of curious to see what this one, but this is a smaller um, thriller, which I really like, which I really appreciate with thrillers. I don't really like a thriller that's lengthy because I lose my attention span when it comes to it because with thrillers to me I want it to we get like we see we're introduced to like <clears throat> the characters something happens and then we're following what happens and then boom the twist is revealed and that's it that's all I think a thriller should be I don't think a thriller should be more than 300 pages so that's just my opinion and the next option is what lies in the woods this is the January pick for book of the month Generally with book of the month thrillers, I'm really, really like them. I have a really good relationship with book of the month thrillers. I was trying to think of a word. And this one, I'm not too sure what this one is about. I haven't read the synopsis, but the little tagline says they were 11 when they were, they were 11 when they sent a killer to prison. They were heroes, but they were liars. So I'm not really too sure. Uh, the Prisoner, I didn't tell you guys what's about. I don't read my synopsis for thrillers, in case you guys didn't know. Um, I just like to go in with 
it's like I just like to go in completely blind with thrillers. I think it's the best way. But the tagline for this says there's more than one way to be trapped. So very excited potentially for these two. I'm gonna read one of them. I would love to read both, but I just don't I just don't see that happening with the work week. And then if I finish a thriller and I don't want to go right into the next thriller, I have a funny you should ask. I've heard this was based off of a Chris Hemsworth interview. Um, I could be really wrong, but I've heard someone say that multiple times. So yeah, I'm not really sure, but um, I'm kind of curious to see what I think about this book because this was also one of those TikTok books that got a lot of attention this past summer. And generally when books that come arise on TikTok, I it's like a hit or a miss for me. Usually it's a miss. So I'm curious to see what I would like about this. But that is the TBR for this week. I don't have any audiobooks because I haven't picked one out yet. But I work Monday through Thursday and it is a pretty it's a pretty busy work week for me, which is great, but also I'm like, ugh. So, but on my days off, I have no plans except to get lunch with a friend on Saturday. But other than that, I have no plans. So that's great. Um, but I think that's about it. I'm going to go do my computer work, maybe play some Dreamlight Valley and listen to Fable. And I will talk to you guys later. I just, y'all, I just finished Babel. What was that ending? Where's the second book? Uh, I don't even know if this is going to be a second book, but there has to be a second book with the way this book ended. Like, there's no way we have to interpret what happens. Because, like, what? Also, R.F. Kuang. Let me set you guys up. Sorry, I'm using my front camera, so I'm sorry if it looks a little weird, grainy, whatever. Just, I'm too lazy to set it up the other way. RF Kuang has a way of writing books on topics that I don't think a lot of people in the fiction literary world touch on uh, almost ever. And she has a way of turning them into these stories that captivate the reader, that haunt the reader, makes you think of the story days, weeks, months, years after you finishing the book. And she has a way of making it easy to read as in follow along and understand what's happening. Not so easy to intake because of what these books are about. But holy crap, R.F. Kuang is an amazing writer. If you have not read any of her books, please go read them. The Poppy War trilogy I've heard is amazing. I've read The Poppy War. I haven't carried on with the trilogy because I could not find the matching covers, which is such a dumb reason not to continue with the series. But for me, who is someone that has crippling uh, OCD and I like things a certain way, I like my routines, you know, we're not going to get into my OCD-ness, trust me. But um, yeah, I couldn't find the matching covers, but I'm going to find the matching covers because it's a series on my list I want to read this year. But anyways, going back to Babel, I just, oh my god, there's just, these group of characters are so distinctive. Like, if you didn't tell me who you were reading from or like the person you were following their inner monologue, I would know each and every one of them without you telling me because I because their personalities are so distinct and their characters are, are so distinct and they're not like flat characters. There's so much depth to these characters and I just, wow. I could go on and on about this book, but this book is truly a masterpiece. Like someone said up here, I just, so if you have Babel on your radar and you're like, I think it's pretty intimidating because of the size and just what it's about, trust me, it's not intimidating. I understand like why it would be, but if you get the audiobook and follow along, it's such an enjoyable reading experience because you get to not only hear the languages spoken to you, 
but you get to follow along and annotate it if you want. Um, but yeah, this book was truly incredible. I'm giving it a five star. I cannot wait for the second book. <laughs> Miss R of Clown, where is it? But yeah, um, so it is 8.30 at night. The sleeping meds are like just about to kick in. I can kind of feel that feeling of where they're like kind of taking over my body. Like I kind of feel a little loopy and I kind of feel a little so that's how I know they're working is because I'm feeling that way but I am not going to read any more tonight I'm just going to get ready for bed and lay in bed and play Dreamlight Valley I was playing a little bit while listening to Babel but I want to play a little more I'm focusing on reaching uh, maximum levels of all the characters that I currently have in my park before I update any more characters uh, in case you guys don't know, I don't really talk about my progress in Dream My Valley because this is not a gaming channel, but I can include, oh, I forgot, but I can include more gaming content if you guys would like, uh, but I think I'm on level 16 for my character and I only have one character, which is Mickey at level 10. We're working on it. Minnie's close. Um, what's that guy's name? Yeah, Minnie's close. There's another character that's close. Um, yeah, so that's basically where I'm at with that. I and water check-in. I have so much water to drink before I go to bed. Uh, so let's do a hydration check together, shall we? I'm trying to drink 125 ounces of water a day. Three of these and like five more ounces but basically three of these that's my goal a day and it's going great yesterday was the only day i didn't do my goal because i had severe allergies and honestly water probably would have helped me like not feel so bleh, but i didn't want it anyways um i'm gonna go get ready for bed because i'm very tired you can hear my voice when my voice starts to do this that means it's time to wrap it up and go to bed I do go to bed early. If you know me personally, you know I go to bed early. Or if you've been watching my channel, you probably can gather I go to bed pretty early. But I get up early. Like, I am such an early riser because I don't, the mornings are just so peaceful to me and I just feel a lot better if I get up earlier. Listen, I didn't just jump out of the gate and become a morning person. I did not. It took me years to appreciate it and I think what really made me appreciate it is when I set a routine because I'm a person that loves routine I love structure I love plans I love routine if something happens that messes my routine up mm -mm, it's not gonna be a good day anyways so by finding a morning routine that I love that makes me stick to it and it's easy and it's not hard I become a morning person and once I realized how peaceful and how much more and how much better my day goes when I have a little bit of time before work instead of rushing around. It's great. Also, if you can hear snoring, it's Wyatt. He is snoring. Um, I would show you, but that means I'd have to stop and turn the camera on. I don't feel like doing that. But yes, uh, uh, my vlog got scheduled, so that should be out by the time you guys watch this. It was last week's vlog for you guys. Um, so yeah, pretty much all I have to do tomorrow is work and I think that's it no um so yeah I am gonna go like I've said for the millionth time a lot of people uh, say this is the midwestern goodbye because we say goodbye a hundred times before we actually say goodbye because we have so much to talk about and we just babble blah, blah, blah. anyways I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys later happy wednesday i did not talk to you guys yesterday it seems to be the ongoing trend where i don't speak to you guys on tuesdays just because tuesdays seem to always be really really busy at work and i come home and i'm just exhausted but today is wednesday i don't have work today because we got a lot of snow the issue with the snow it wasn't the amount we got um it was the timing of the snow it literally started to snow 
I think around like 1 a.m. and it was ongoing until like 6 a.m. which is right like the start of rush hour traffic even 5 at even 5 a.m. sometimes um is there's a lot of traffic so they couldn't get plows out in time and all that so people you know rescheduled so I ended up having a snow day which is fine with me and I don't care sorry I gotta get my heated blanket on because it's a little chilly um I use today as like a do whatever I want day kind of read all day day um this morning I got notified around like 7 30 ish I think that I wasn't going to work today so I kind of used that time to clean my house so I wouldn't have to do it tomorrow after work and I did some airdropping of uh, this week's vlog footage onto my laptop so I wouldn't have to do it at the end of the week and then I went down the rabbit hole of organizing my photos on my MacBook and moving them into external hard drive and into like folders and then had a little breakdown because I have so many pictures of Ollie, which is my dog, if you don't know, he recently passed on my MacBook and it just, I was not, I, I don't, I'm not ready to look at those photos yet. So I had to stop doing that. And, but I picked up a book. I picked up What Lies in the Woods and this is January's book of the month pick for their thriller. And I am liking it. I am very curious. So I am on page 19. We're following this girl named Naomi, who when she was 11 years old, a serial killer tried to kill her. Uh, she ended up with like 17 stab wounds. Um, her face has nerve and muscle damage, but she survived and um, her other two friends that were with her, they were in the woods, they escaped. And they ended up putting the guy in jail because they testified, all that. Um, fast forward 20 years later, we're following Naomi in her current state. She is a wedding photographer. Uh, she's living with her boyfriend named Mitch. And she gets a call from this guy that uh, the person who tried to attempt to murder her um, is dead. And so she gets a call from her friend, Liv, who was also there that day, and says, I've been trying to call you. And then she says blank is back uh, I forget the name hold on she says I found Percy po Percy phone I don't know that's probably not the correct way to pronounce that but it's p-e-r-s-e-f it's p-e-r-s-e-p-h-o-n-e -E -E, so Persephone per se, pwn, I don't know. So that's kind of where I'm at in the book. I'm not going to give any more details beyond this point because I don't want to spoil anything, but I am curious to see uh, what is going on uh, because I'm hooked. The opening, the epilogue was very good. The last line, the last couple lines are what got me it says they told the story again and again until they thought they owned it we tried to forget we didn't tell the story not the real one not ever and i'm like okay so what's the real story what's the tea i gotta know so that is that i also started a new audio book uh but it's on my phone and i forget what it's called give me a second let me log on the script from my laptop it is a history of wild places so I'm not very far into it. I'm probably like an hour into it. And all I know so far is we're following this guy who does detective work, but in an un, um, traditional way, he is able to touch stuff and see like the events of the past, uh, which is really cool. So he is, so he got hired by this family to go find their daughter. And that's all I know. And I'm really liking it. I wish I had the physical so I could follow along and read it, like follow along and listen. So that could be my book I'm, I'm reading right now, but I don't have anything to do while I listen to an audiobook. So we're gonna go with my physical read, but yeah. The plans for today is to get pretty far into What Lies in the Woods. I'm hoping to get like halfway through this book, but we'll see. And just kind of like chill out for the day, do whatever I want. I'm about to go get a snack, which I wanna show you guys like my go-to snack. 
it's nothing crazy wild like you know but I still want to show you guys um so yeah that's the plan maybe play some Dreamlight Valley after I've done my reading because I've been really obsessed with Dreamlight Valley but I'm gonna go get a snack and I'll talk to you guys later Also, I just want to give a little tip. If you're like me and you're trying to get a lot of water in or like keep your water like and you're trying to, you know, drink more water, my best tip besides get yourself like a cup, uh, I recommend this cup because or bottle, I guess, because it is you can chug it and you can use a straw. The straw is on the side of the cup, which means the it won't get stuck in the ice. And it keeps your shit cold for 24 hours. And it's not as expensive as a Stanley. Nothing against a Stanley. I just prefer this cup because it's cheaper, it's better, and it's leak proof. There's nothing in it now, but it's leak proof. Anyways, a tip I have about water besides the cup is as soon as you're done filling it, go refill it. Don't, oops, you're falling. Don't even wait until you like want another sip of water go refill it because you're more likely to drink water but that is my little tip hi so sorry for the front camera quality but like i just i don't feel like setting up my tripod but i'm reading this book and this isn't a spoiler i don't think um naomi went home and her dad let me start by saying no, Naomi's upbringing wasn't very good. Her mom kind of abandoned them. Her dad's an alcoholic and her dad is constantly getting in trouble by police. So when she shows up, there's a police car and the police is like, you got to clean this place up, like blah, blah, blah. She walks in and she begins describing the house. Basically, her dad's a hoarder. Oh, I can't stand clutter. I can't stand mess. Uh, if you've been watching my vlogs, there's a reoccurring theme that I literally clean any chance I can get. So for someone who, I don't know what that phobia is, a clutter phobia, I don't even know that's such a thing. But for someone who has that at reading this part of the book, it's making my skin crawl and it's making my stomach turn because I just literally can't stand it. And I couldn't even walk in that house if it was me. Like, I could not walk in that house. I would be like, let me hire someone to clean this mess up and then I'll step in. But that's all I've got to say because I just had to share that. Okay, I'm going back to reading. Hi, friends. So we're in my bedroom. I never film in here because it's really echoey in here and there's not great lighting. I had to bring in my ring light. But I figured I'd switch it up instead of you guys just seeing my desk for this entire vlog. Um, but I got a Target order in um, yesterday and today and I wanted to wait until I got the rest of it in to show you guys like a haul. So the things I got yesterday, first thing I got was just this Vanna Cream Gentle Cleanser. I use, um, I forget what it's called, but I use one and I'm thinking it's too harsh for my skin and I want to try to see if I use a gentle facial cleanser combined with like my other my my other acne products I wonder if it would work better instead of having like two harsh products so there's that and then I got this elf sunscreen it's kind of the dupe of the is it the super glow one you guys know what I'm talking about 
it's tinted and I am pretty excited about this for the warmer months and just for when I like want to wear a little bit of tint but not full makeup so got that and then I got this moisturizer which I used last night it's a gel moisturizer it's a super hydrating one and it's for oily and combination skin which I have oily skin but like I said it's gel so I don't know. I'm going to come around here and see if you guys can see it. It's like a gel material. So cool. And I like the color purple. Okay. So for this package. Uh, I picked up a new pair of jeans because I saw someone post about these on TikTok and I wanted to pick them up because they looked really cute on her and we had similar body taste. So these are just your straight jeans, but with a rip and I'm going to try these on and see what these look like. So I'll do that in a second. And then I got a new bra. This thing is so soft and I'm excited about this it is looks like this it is the brand true and co and it is the triangle one so i'll try on both of these and i'll report back in a second these are the jeans they are a little more they are a little more form-fitting than i want to but they're also a little too tight <laughs> um which trying to remind myself that not every jean fits the same because this is my size and these jeans are way too tight i mean they're zipped they're buttoned but they're just like not you know they don't fit but i have gained a little bit of weight um just because of life and stuff but i am back on my weight loss healthy life style thing so i don't want to say that these jeans are gonna fit in a couple of months because clothes because you should have clothes that fit you the clothes like you you the clothes should fit you you should not make the clothes fit is that what they're supposed to i don't know that saying so it's 2023 we aren't you know squeezing into sizes anymore just because of society but i am gonna keep them because when I was actively losing weight, I went through clothes like this. So these will be nice um, for when I am. But otherwise, I would have returned them if I wasn't, you know, losing weight. So, yeah. But the bra, on the other hand, is very comfy. One of the most comfortable bras I've ever owned. I'm going to keep you up to date to see how it wears throughout the day. Um, but, yeah. Very comfy. Obviously not going to show you it because you know, duh, but yes. Okay, back to reading. Well, you know when you don't know what you look like and then you look at yourself, you're like, oh, that's what I look like right now. I'm having one of those moments. Anyways, hi guys. It's much, much later. 
I just got out of the shower and I've been on the couch reading, catching up on booktube because I still have videos from like before Christmas to watch. I know. But I am also reading because I can't only do one task. I have to multitask. It's a problem. I'm aware. But um, I am 130 pages into this book. And I do really like this book. It's one of those books that go by so fast and you don't realize you're reading. That's how fast it goes. And it just sucks you in because you only ha you not only have like the big mystery of like what happened in the woods between the three friends. But you also have another mystery that I'm not going to say um and then on top of that there's one of the friends something happens to one of the friends it's in the synopsis but I'm not going to say it in case you don't want to know so there's like three things going on and my ADHD and my ADHD brain loves that so this is great um but also I listen I got so distracted while eating dinner because I have this really bad habit of having to be overstimulated. I have to eat, I, I have to like constantly be doing like multiple things and I really wanna stop that in 2023. I just don't know how. So like, for example, I was eating dinner, but I had the TV on, but I also was, but I also was like making a list on my phone of things I wanna buy myself this year. I was doing all that while eating dinner. Why? I don't know. And I just had this moment where I don't know why, but I literally forgot about tax refund <laughs> because I was looking at iPad because I want an iPad. Everyone and their mother has an iPad and I want to be part of the gang. I have FOMO and I used to have an iPad. Fun fact. I had an iPad uh, years ago, not years. It was when the iPad Pro first came out, you know, when they were reasonably priced and not over a thousand dollars. And I got it because I was in college and yeah ladies and gentlemen she went to college um I don't talk about it much because that's a period of my life that I try to forget <laughs> but I had all my textbooks and my notes on my iPad absolutely loved it you know what I did you know what I did actually I'm not gonna tell you guys what I did because that makes me look just irresponsible and dumb but let's just say something happened and the iPad was no longer so I haven't got one I told myself you're not getting one anymore until you're responsible I was young. I was literally 20. So I was very young. Now being 29 and have successfully kept electronics for multiple years in a row without ruining them like I did when I was younger, I'm gonna allow myself to buy an iPad. So here's my thing with an iPad is I saw people saying like, just get the iPad Air um, because I already have a MacBook. So the iPad Pro would literally be useless to me because it does the same as a macbook pro i think it's just an ipad form uh, but i want something a little smaller and i know the ipad pro comes in two sizes but i like the ipad air um i like that it's very powerful so i think i'm gonna do the ipad pair but anyways going back to tax refund yeah i literally forgot we got a tax refund so i think that's what i'm gonna do with my tax refund part of it is that i don't know anyways um this clip I'm so sorry, it was so random, but I just had a lot to say and I needed to say it to you guys so that there was that. But I'm gonna go back to watching booktube and reading and I probably will talk to you guys until tomorrow. So I'll see you guys. Hi friends, I'm in this same spot that I last talked to you guys at except I'm sitting up. But it is currently Thursday evening. It's like six o'clock, I think. I don't know, something like that. And um, I am, so, oh, I got hair in my eyes, sorry, hold on. Um, I'm sat here reading, waiting for my dinner to be done, and catching up on booktube because I've made it a priority this week to catch up on booktube. I have a theory about what the big twist is in this book, and if I'm right, I'm going to be mad because it's such an obvious twist, and also this is a twist that I don't really like, so I don't know. I'm not going to say it, obviously, but I read another book like... I've read another book that had this exact same twist, but I don't know if it's the twist, but I'm just saying if it is, I've read a book like this before and I was like, are you serious? But anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Um, I worked today. I had a pretty long day, so I'm pretty tired. And then after work, I ordered some stuff from Ulta. 
I told myself I wasn't going to spend any more money, but then I saw this girl talking about the new e.l.f. color correction stuff. Because I use green to color correct the redness on my nose, because I have a lot of redness on my nose. It <gasps> you guys, my book just fell. I don't remember what page I was on. Anyways, um, yeah, redness, so I ordered some new products, and then that e.l.f. brow gel that everyone keeps talking about, I got because I'm almost out of mine. Um, I don't know. When it comes in next week, I'll show y'all. I've also been wanting... I'm just in that mood to spend money, which is not a good mood. And I don't get in these moods often, which is great, but I just want to spend money. Anyways, I'm going to go back to reading. I'm planning to read a lot tonight. Hopefully, I don't know, because I really want to play Disney Dreamlight Valley, like, right now. But we're going to read, and I will come back when I have updates. sitting here eating my breakfast and he's just staring into me because he wants it but I'm also reading and watching some booktube hi friends happy Friday I just finished getting ready um I didn't film any of that because I am currently filming a timestamp vlog for TikTok, because you know, I gotta stay relevant, I gotta stay on the trends. That is trending, is do a vlog with timestamps, so that is what I'm doing. It's a day in the life of a content, bookish content creator, I guess. Um, but I did want to come on and say hi to you guys. Uh, today is my day off, obviously, and I have a couple things on the list to do today. The very first thing um, was to start recording the timestamp thing, I already done that. And then we are going to go to Meyer, which is a grocery store here. I think it's just in the Midwest. I could be wrong. It could be other places, but I think it's in the Midwest is mainly where it's at. And if I'm wrong, please tell me I'm wrong because I honestly have no idea. I've just seen it around in the Midwest. Um, um, after that, we are going to prep for filming. I am filming... Uh, well, first off, I asked on the community post um, here on YouTube if you guys would rather see my top, my five-star reads of 2022. I know it's pretty late to be doing that video since it's almost February, but I still want to do it just because I know I like watching them because I always like seeing what people really loved and putting them on my list of what to read. Uh, or I said books you can read in one sitting, and that is currently winning. I'm going to check it right after I get home from the grocery store and whatever one that's what i'm gonna film um i ordered groceries this morning but walmart didn't have a couple of things they didn't have the cat food because last week's vlog i mentioned how i was switching why it's cat food and they didn't have it in like singular cans because i just want to see which one he likes better give him a little taste test of each before going and buying a big quantity of it and then they didn't have um what didn't they have? They had they didn't have something else. Oh, uh, they didn't have the deodorant I used, which is strange for Walmart. But yeah. Also, let's have a water check. Have you guys been drinking your water? If not, let's take a drink together. Last week when I restarted being more cautious of like my healthy living, like what I'm doing, what I'm eating, and taking more water, just like you know, starting all over like I used to, um, I feel really good. I feel a lot better. I feel less, I feel less slumpy. I just feel good overall. I've been drinking a ton of water and I do notice the difference. Uh, one, I definitely notice the hunger, um, has gone down a lot. I am a big snacker and I love snacking. So, by drinking more water, I have noticed myself reaching less and less for snacks. Uh, when I do reach for a snack, I always reach for something healthy. I try to. Or sometimes I have, like, if I'm craving something sweet, I have a little mini crunch bar, like the snack size. I keep them in my freezer. Uh, or I'll have a clementine. Something like that. Because, you know, 
food's not bad. Everything is good in moderation is what I've learned. And I wish someone told me that at the beginning of my health weight journey where I like I cut everything out and that is not healthy. That's not sustainable. So anyways, um, also I'm seeing results. It's only been a week, but like, I don't want to say what they are because I don't want to trigger anyone. I never want to trigger anyone when talking about this kind of stuff. So if you guys get triggered with me talking about my healthy lifestyle journey, please tell me and I'll stop mentioning it or I'll put timestamps of when I stop talking about it. And so that way you guys can skip because I the last thing I'm going to do is trigger anyone. So let me know. Um, but it is my channel. It is my video. I do want to document it because it is a big part of my life. So um, anyways, enough of that. I'm going to go curl my hair. Because I haven't curled my hair in like, I think it's been a week. And I really like my hair curled. So we're going to do that. Uh, and then we're going to go to Myers, And then we'll come home and we'll prep. But you guys are coming along with me. Because you guys are besties. And I always take you guys with me. So I will check back in in a little bit. Oh! The reason why I started this clip. Because I have reading updates. I cannot... I completely got sidetracked. So reading updates. I am currently on page 196 of What Lies in the Woods. Here's the thing with this book is I feel like there's too much going on in this book. Like I said, we have a couple different like mysteries we're trying to find out and I feel like that's just a lot. The big mystery, they're all kind of connected. Um, I will say that. So like it's one big one, but like there's smaller ones, but they're all connected. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. However, there's a subplot of a romance going on in here and I'm just, mm, no, I don't know if it's just a me thing or if you guys read thrillers and you're like this, I don't want to see a romance in a thriller. I'm reading a thriller to be thrilled, to be on the edge of my seat. I'm reading it for all of the stuff you don't get in any other genre. Okay. I don't want to hear about a romance. Not happening. So like, I'm like, ew, ew, especially because I, I don't want to say I'm anti-romance, but like you guys know, I'm not a romance reader. When I do read a romance book, I tear that shit apart. And I don't know why I'm like that. It's probably because I've just, uh, uh, the love life hasn't been great. I've had no great dating experience. So that's probably why I'm like, ew. Anyways, we're not going to dig into that. We're not going to dig into that. You guys aren't my therapist, but I mean, anyways. So yeah. I just, I'm like, where I sit this book, I was liking it. And then that, all that stuff started happening. And I'm just like, mm, no. Plus, I don't really like the main female character. I think she's annoying. The friend group, too, is not really a healthy friend group. Uh, I just, I don't know. Like, it, the whole thing is just like, nah. The whole, yeah. It's a little sus. But anyways, I'm, I am going to keep reading this because I do want to finish it and I do want to see how it turns out and I want to see if I'm right about the big twist. But that's really what I wanted to tell you guys when recording this clip. I got distracted by all the other things in my mind. I, if I haven't had the chance to talk to you guys yet and I have a lot on my mind, I just come brain dump. And maybe I should brain dump in my journal and not to you guys, but maybe you guys like my brain dump. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go before this clip turns 15 minutes long and I'll catch up with you guys later. Hi friends, it is much, much later in the day. I think the last time I spoke to you guys was maybe at 9 a.m. It's currently 5 p.m. Um, I've spent the day running errands. I filmed two videos. I edited a video fully. It's exporting. I've airdropped some footage. I did some planning. I did some reading. I am almost done with uh, What Lies in the Woods. Um, there was a twist that happened that I didn't see. But I'm mad I didn't see it because it was so obvious he gave the clues. So, um, yeah. But I just wanted to check in really quick because I feel like I haven't really talked to you guys or picked up the camera today. I'm going to do a quick 30-minute kind of reset because I just feel like my place is just, like, not as clean as I would like it to be. So I'm going to do a quick little mini, like, reset. It's what I like to do. And then... Probably film some TikToks because I don't have anything to film for, like, I don't have any TikToks to uh, have on backup when I'm, like, busy and can't film. So I need to do that. Need to take some Insta photos. But yeah, uh, I just thought I'd check in with you guys.
I finally got wet cat food, so I just want to see which one he likes. I'm testing out a couple different ones. He's pretty picky with his wet food, if I'm being honest. He's probably not going to, is he going to eat it? I'll keep you guys updated. <sighs> 2023 is all about balance when it comes to my work, when it comes to my content creation, and when it comes to relaxation time. A life, I guess. So even though I said, a hey, there's Miles Taylor. Even though I said five o'clock, I was going to be done with all my content stuff, whatever is not done you know, we're going to do it tomorrow. I had one little thing left to do, which was to export um, my vlog that needs to go up on TikTok. So I just did that, but I scrolled through TikTok while I did that. Technically I was done, but it is now six o'clock. I am done for the rest of the evening. We're going to cook dinner, aka reheat. I have some meatball subs uh, that I'm going to reheat and make. And then I'm going to finish this book because I'm really close to being done. And then we're going to start a new book. But uh, let's go have some dinner. Hi, friends. Happy Saturday. I haven't spoken to you guys yet today, but it is around noonish, I think. But I finished a book. Guys, we finished a book. We finished What Lies in the Woods. Um, I didn't hate this thriller, but I didn't love it. Um, I rated it a 2.5, and here is why. <laughs> it was a mess. Honestly, and I saw a lot of people giving this four stars and I try not to let others influence me in my reviews and I'm not, but I just don't understand. I think maybe because this book had that really random subplot of a romance and that romance turned it out like I, it was very weird to me. I just, when I'm reading a thriller, I'm not reading it for a subplot of a romance. Like at all. I don't know about you guys, but I'm in it for the thrills, the on the edge of my seat, the like, you know, the serial killer vibes. I'm not here for the cute little romance. And also there was too many loose, there was too many like, webs to the story when it comes to like what the main plot was if that makes sense so for example there was the main plot of what really happened in the woods the night Naomi got stabbed uh, but also there was what happened to one of her friends that went missing and then there was the oh what happened to this thing they found in the woods What's that thing story? I'm not saying, I'm being very vague. And it was just so many just webs that I was like, okay, one is enough, two maybe, but like they were all connected. I will say that they connected very well, but I was just like, there was so much stuff going on that I was bored. You know, I was kind of like, I just want to stick to the main plot line. I don't care any about anything else. So yeah, 2.5. Mm, I don't really love this. Don't love this book, which is sad because book of the month thrillers are usually some of my favorite thrillers I've ever read, but this one was just like, eh, goodbye. So with that being said, my next book I'm actually reading on my Kindle because I didn't want to dip into my February TBR yet. And I was like, let me scan Libby. And my library had a copy of Under the Whispering Door by, um, T.J. Clune, which is this book right here, this book, and I read The House on the Cerulean Sea, loved that book. It read like an adult middle grade, if that makes sense. It was so cute, so cozy, so I wanted to definitely read more by T.J. Clune. Also, you can hear why he, he's mad because he is on a diet. Uh, I am officially transferring over to a wet food that I found uh, very slowly, but which means he's getting less of his hard food. So therefore he eats it all because he loves wet food. 
um, and then he doesn't have anything to like snack through the day. So currently his bowl was empty this morning, so I cleaned it. I washed his bowls. If you don't wash your pet's bowls at least almost daily, you need to be doing that because bacteria can grow on them, just saying. So I washed his bowl, put it back, and he was right there when I put it back, and he's like, where's my food? You ate it. Anyways, back to this. So, uh, yeah, I've been wanting to read the rest of his books. I'm not really too sure what this one is about, but once I know, I will tell you guys. I'm really excited to read this. Also, very excited to read my Kindle because I don't use my Kindle often. I often forget I have a Kindle. She's a little beat up. She's a little grungy. I need to remake her. These stickers on the back, I don't really care for. I also hate this thing, but you know, it is what it is. I, because I am planning on getting an iPad, I'm not gonna upgrade my Kindle. I'm just gonna use that as my Kindle. But anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna go read this, get a snack and I will catch you guys later. <laughs> Happy Sunday. So I didn't talk to you guys at all last night because I went to dinner with a friend and then I came home and honestly was asleep by 9 30. We love it. But it is Sunday. I'm up. I'm ready to go because I'm actually about to go visit my parents, see the parents, the dogs. And then later tonight, we're going to watch the Bengals game because this is the game that decides who goes to the Super Bowl. So it could be the Bengals or the 49ers. Me and Bree's team could be playing each other, which would be so like, exciting. Like, uh, anyways, so I have reading updates because I actually did start Under the Whispering Door by um, TJ Klune. And you guys, I forgot how much I love his writing. He has a way of making adult fantasies super cozy. Like it is a cozy fantasy. That's what this book is. So if you don't know what this book is about, 
from what I understand is we're following this guy named Wallace Price who was I think he owned a law firm and he was a lawyer something of that he was a pretty awful person like the beginning of this book really sets up the tone for who Wallace was and he there's the beginning of this book made me crack up so much just because of how like awful Wallace was there was a point where his he called this assist his assistant in and no was it his assistant I don't know it was someone he works very closely and he called her in and was like I need to talk to you and she like thanks him for uh sending her birthday flowers and she goes on this tangent about how she doesn't know how she's gonna afford her son's wedding because her husband doesn't work and she can't afford this and blah 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 and he was like, well, can we talk about why I called you in here? Because she goes, oh, yeah, what, what's up? He goes, you're fired. After she just told him how she can barely afford anything, I was like, oh, he's really an awful person. And then um, the next day, he drops dead of a heart attack. And so you're following him, seeing himself, like, dead like he said the next moment he was just looking at his body and then he watched his funeral and at the funeral he meets this girl named may who is his grim reaper to take him to they don't haven't called it anything um i guess the afterlife is what you could call it um and she takes him because she's like you're gonna meet the fairy man called hugo which he's like wallace is like this isn't god but she calls him the fairy man but he's kind of like god um but she but so he goes to this world and that's basically where I'm at. So I have like no idea, but I am on chapter four. I think I'm on page, let's see. I'm on page 46. I'm only 12% into this book and I have a feeling this book is gonna be a five star read. Barnes and Noble is doing a really cool paperback edition of this book. I'll put a picture up screen and I kind of wanna pre-order it. It comes out on the 31st, so this coming Tuesday, but I kind of wanna pre-order it because it is so cool. The end papers are so cool. So I think I'm gonna do that. But that's kind of all I wanted to say that I am really, really enjoying this book. I'm going to pack my bag and then we're going to go to the parents' house. And of course, I will show you the B-roll of the dogs. I haven't showed you guys a B-roll of the dogs in a long time just because um, it's weird not having B-roll of my dog Ollie anymore. So I just, yeah, but you know, I know a lot of people like seeing the dogs and seeing the animals. So I'll, I'll do B-roll of that and all the good food my mom cooks will have B-roll of that. So yeah. I probably won't talk to you guys much today just because when I'm at my parents' house, I'm really trying to disconnect from everything. Today is the one day that I told myself no content work besides obviously filming for my weekly vlog because that's fun and I love to do that. But we're doing no editing, um, no t recording for TikTok, no taking Instagram pics, nothing like that at all. However, I did do some um, content work this morning. I made a list of... Uh, some anticipated releases that are coming out this year, which by the way, I did ask on Instagram, uh, which if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me because I am being more interactive through my stories on there and asking a lot of polls and questions and all that. So the question I asked was, would you guys still want to see a 2023 anticipated releases video? Because I have a lot of my list. I have a lot of books I'm very excited for. I was going to do this video in January. Obviously things happened in January, wasn't going to happen, but I can still do it in February. If I do it, it's gonna come out like the second week of February. So let me know. I still might record it no matter what, but I of course want you guys' opinion. If you're not gonna watch it, then I don't know, but I still kind of wanna record it. So let me know about that. But yes, let's go pack my bag and go to the parents' house and I will talk to you guys later.
really gotta stop ending my vlogs this way but hi guys i'm here to end the vlog really quickly because i once again forgot to do an outro and didn't have time to really properly do one today because of work anyways we're not gonna get into that but i just wanted to say i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a massive thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed because i would love to have you here if you don't already, you can follow me on my social medias. They are always linked down below for you guys. There are some links to support my channel if you want. No pressure at all. And I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are reading lots of good books. And I will see you guys in my next video.